Let's take a look at how we can divide 5 by 1 third. And we're going to look at this two ways. So first, let's think of it this way. 5 over 1, that's still 5, we're just dividing by 1. So that kind of gets us in fraction form here. If I can get a common denominator, then I could just do the division. How about I multiply 5 over 1 by 3 over 3? Because 3 over 3 is just 1. We're multiplying 1 by 5. We haven't changed anything. But now, 3 times 5, that's 15. 3 times 1 is 3. So 15 over 3 divided by 1 over 3. 15 divided by 1 is 15. 3 divided by 3 is 1. 15 over 1 is 15. So 5 divided by 1 third, that's 15. 1 third goes into 5. 15 times. Here's another way to do it. I like this way because it's a little more general. It works for a lot of different problems. We could take 5 and instead of dividing we could multiply by the reciprocal. So we could flip the 1 and the 3, take the reciprocal, that's 3 over 1. Again we call this 5 over 1. 5 times 3 is 15. 1 times 1, that equals 1. 15 over 1 is 15. Same answer. 15. One third goes into 5 15 times. This is Dr. B dividing 5 by 1 third. Thanks for watching.